With Flexitive's Editor Light feature, you can easily build an animated, fully responsive design in minutes. And today, I'm going to show you how. To get started, I'm just going to jump in here and give my, uh, and create a new design. So we'll just give it a name, and then just tap Create. Now, when you create a new design, the first screen you're going to see is this template selection screen. From here, I can jump into a blank canvas if I'd like, but to use Editor Light, you're going to want to enter a template. By default, you'll have access to a handful of templates that we've created for you. And if you're an enterprise client, you may also have access to some custom uh, templates that are available on your site for your team. If you'd like to learn more about custom templates, get in touch with us either via the contact support widget or by emailing support at flexitive.com or contacting your account manager. For today, I'm just gonna jump into this automotive template. Now, after choosing a template, you're going to be taken into Editor Light. And in Editor Light, you're going to be able to set some, uh, make some basic changes to the design that you've created thus far. First thing you're going to be able to update is the design labels for this design. So you can see the title that I input at the beginning is already available here, but you can also input a description custom ID, or country, language, or channel. If you change any of these, so say for example, I was to do uh, ABCC, so that would be Adaptive Bean Coffee Co, LA for Latte Art underscore 01, first design of that, as my custom ID, and I to jump back out to my folder view, you can actually see that that has been populated into that custom ID field there. And you can do this for any of the design labels you'd like. Now, once you're happy with the design labels in your design, you're also able to edit the actual content of the design. So on the step two section, you can change images, text, and the color of shapes in your design. So we're gonna start off with this logo image right here. If I tap upload new image here, I can choose an image from my files to replace the logo image that was there as a placeholder before. You can also change the text, and you can see that in the text, we've also included a recommendation for how many characters you should be putting into this area. Now, this isn't a solid rule that it has to be 18 characters, but it is a good guideline to use when choosing what text to put in these different areas. So for example, here I'll say celebrate coffee, which is around the length of what we're working with with 18 characters. Similar in text two, I can do the same thing. I can make this say with Adaptive Bean, there we go. And then of course I can also change the text color if I would like, and this would be done using the standard Flexitive Color Picker, and you can choose any color from uh, that you would like for this text. I'm just gonna leave it with the standard white for now. And the last thing that I'm going to be updating is this background image here. Now, I could do as before and just click Upload No Image, but I can also, if I would like, take an image and simply drag and drop it onto this or drop files here rectangle, and that will also upload the file for me. Now, if I'd like to take a look at what my design will look like when I'm done, I can tap preview, and this is going to automatically update the preview on the right-hand side of my screen with the content that I've uploaded or changed. Now, once I'm happy with this design, I can either go into the editor if I'd like to make a couple more tweaks, or tap on export. If I tap export, I'm gonna be taken into the editor with the export panel open to make it really, really easy for me to then export this design how I need. For now, I'm gonna tap go to editor and take a look at how my design looks. And once I'm in this all si this active sizes view, I can scroll down and take a look at how they all how they're all displaying. Now, you may want to jump in and make some edits, and as you can see, these portrait sizes, I actually want the image to be looking at a different part of the background image. So I'm gonna jump into my two by three here and make some quick edits. So I'll adjust the position of this focus so that this coffee cup and the man doing the latte art are directly in view. Jump over, do this for all of my different sizes. So I'll do that super quickly here. And then once this is complete, I'll have built out all of the different sizes that I need. I can go back out to my active sizes view to take another quick look and make sure that things are as I want them to be. There we go. 
From here, if I'd like to see how this will behave responsively, I can always go into my preview panel, just quickly save my design, and then I can do the in-app preview option with my fully responsive design and see how this design will behave as I resize it. And as you can see, it's able to adapt to any screen size or resolution I need. And that's everything I was looking to cover in regards to the Flexitive Editor Lite feature today. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact us using the contact support widget at the top of your Flexitive app or by sending us an email to support at flexitive.com. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining and I hope you have a great day.